The next presenter is a student of medicine, Rodolfo Damiano, who has been mentioned in the, in the present, previous presentation, will discuss with us empathy in medical students is moderated by openness to spirituality. Rodolfo is a medical student at the Pontifical Catholic University of Sao Paulo, has studied at the Southern Illinois University, and published a book, which was mentioned before, entitled uh, A New Medicine for a New Millennium, The Humanization of the Medical Education. Rodolfo, would you please? Hello everyone, it's a great pleasure for being here tonight, today. So actually, I would like to correct him because my book was not mentioned by Giancarlo. Actually, uh, the article that I'm gonna present to you now uh, was cited by him. And my book is just pressed in Portuguese, unfortunately not even in English. So I will start presenting myself. I'm a medical student at Pontifical Catholic University of Sao Paulo, actually in clerkship rotations in my last year. And uh, I was a student at Southern Illinois University at Carbondale during 2014 and 2015. Uh, I apologize for my bad English, but I will try to speak slowly for everyone to understand. Oh. Here. No. Next. Yes. Next, okay. I received on this uh, project that I'm going to present you today, I received a scholarship from CAPES, a, a Brazilian uh, federal institution, and, but it, I do not have any conflict of interest. Well, my, my pa our paper, my Giancarlos and Dilala, Dr. Dilala and Kevin Dorsey, the Dean of Medicine on uh, Southern Illinois University, at Southern Illinois University, it's called Empathy Medical Students is Moderated by Openness to Spirituality. It was accepted uh, soon on teaching learning medicine and is in press for 2017. Well, we started defining a hard, hard concept to define, empathy. Uh, we chose Hojats, he is a professor at Jefferson uh, Medical School and he defines empathy as a cognitive attribute that involves an ability to understand the patient's inner experiences and perspectives and a capability to communicate this understanding. He makes a huge distinction between empathy and sympathy. For him, while empathy is more a cognitive attribute, sympathy is more an emotional attribute. So that's an important thing to understand this concept uh, further. Well, we just moved uh, from a hard uh, uh, concept to define, but now it's, it's, I think it's the most hard thing, the hardest thing to, to explain and to discuss on this topic, uh, which is if empathy does or does not decline over the medical education, over the medical years. So there are some studies that claim that empathy, yes, empathy does decline over the medical course. However, there are several studies that also claim that empathy does not decline over the medical course. So that's, that's an important question for us because if, if empathy declines over the medical course, we need to address, we need to do something to, to, uh, to, like, to stop this declining or even uh, enhance the empathy uh, in medical students. As we can see, empathy is a really important uh, 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 characteristic of, of medical students. Well, I chose this is the only systematic review that addressed the empathy declining in, me in medical uh, education, that he concludes that yes, empathy does decline over the medical uh, education. And he, uh, he proposed some possible causes, uh, including 
psychological distress, such as depression, anxiety, and reduced quality of life. So, in our study, we, we started with this hypothesis that, okay, if empathy declines and uh, psychological distress are one of, might be one of the possible causes of this declining, what could moderate this decline, reduce this declining? And for us, some possible modulators are or were wellness behaviors, such as uh, physical activity, prayer, seeking social support, being in touch with nature, restful sleep, etc. Or openness to other spirituality, or openness to patients' spirituality. Ask about patient spirituality and be able to address patients' needs uh, about spirituality. Well, in your methods, actually this is a this is an observational correlational study, cross-sectional study, so it doesn't uh, mean uh, causality. So, so this is just uh, uh, like a small study that we, we, we could demonstrate some, uh, some interesting outcomes. We used uh, ESWIM, Empathy and Spirituality and Wellness Scale, developed by Dilala, my tutor in uh, SIU. We also use uh, Durell, the Duke University Religious Index. We use the Hukol Brief, the quality of life from the uh, uh, World Health Organization. We also use the Oldenburg Burnout Inventory and the DAS-21, Depression, Anxiety, and Stress Scale. Uh, our study had 106 responders out of 287 possible. So we had a really a small response rate of 37%. Even though we did a cupcake party for students, we offered them cupcakes, but I think they, they were not interested in that. So we included medical students from all four years from SIU. There is a difference between the Brazilian and the American uh, health education because the Brazilian medical education is comprised of six years of medical school and the American four years of medical school. So this is a, this is a small difference, but it's important to understand. Uh, our statistical analysis, uh, we calculated our variance in flexure factor. It was less than two, so collinearity was not an issue. Uh, we carried out a, a descriptive st stats or a Pearson correlation and a uh, regression, multiple regression with empathy as depend dependent variable. Our results here, it's our uh, demographs, and we can see that we have a, a, a higher per, uh, percentage of students from first and second year, and with high uh, levels of parents' education. Our correlation, and our correlation between uh, our study variables showed us that empathy was significantly correlated with burnout, negatively correlated with burnout, and positive correlated with spirituality and wellness, as we could uh, predict. In our uh, hierarchical regression analysis, we separate it in three different steps. In our first steps, step, special choice of medical students was uh, negatively predict, it was a negatively predictor of physician empathy, uh, of medical students' empathy in our, in our sample of medical students. So what does it mean? It means that students who chose in our questionnaire People-oriented specialties, such as family medicine, pediatrics, uh, op gym, psychiatry, internal medicine, oncology, dermatology, and emergency medicine, scored high, higher on empathy than those who chose technology-oriented specialties, such as surgery, orthopedics, nuclear medicine, anesthesiology, ophthalmology, and radiology. It was also found in other studies, if you, like, when uh, pressed, you can see in our study too. Well, this, our second uh, finding was that burnout was 
uh, a significant predictor of uh, empathy in our sample of medical students. So students with higher levels of burnout scored lower in our empathy uh, questionnaire. Also, wellness behavior, openness to, to patient spirituality, and uh, in openness to patient spirituality was, a, was also a significant predictor of uh, uh, medical students' uh, uh, empathy. Like, different than our hypothesis, religiosity appeared uh, negatively predictor, predi uh, predicting negatively uh, medical students' uh, empathy. In your third step, depression and spirituality openness, they appear to, to interact with each other uh, significantly too. What does it mean? It means that students here in our green, the green line are students with high spirituality openness high openness to patients' spirituality levels. In blue are students with low, uh, students with low spirituality openness. And what we can see in, this, in our plot of simple loops is that students here, students with low depression, anxiety, and stress, they score uh, differently depending on spirituality openness, differently on empathy levels, depending on their spirituality openness levels. And students with high depression, anxiety, and stress did not score differently depending on, the, on empathy, depending on their spirituality levels. So to conclude, our regression analysis showed that wellness behaviors and spirituality openness significantly positively predicted empathy. Openness to spirituality was an import, important moderator of psychological distress, leading to higher levels of empathy only for those students who were no, not distressed. So prior to address, uh, to, to teach students how to deal with patients' uh, spirituality, it's important to to address the students' psychological distress, such as de depression and empathy. And higher levels of burnout were significantly inversely correlated with empathy, as was also shown in previous studies. So I, I thank Giancarlo Lucchetti, Elizabeth Dilala, and Kevin Dorsey, my tutors from this, uh, of this research. Thanks, everyone.